Hello and welcome to my review of the Nikon Key Mission 80. This is an action cam that is waterproof and shockproof and does video and stills and it's tiny and to show you how tiny it is I'm going to put it alongside my mobile phone. So it's actually in a case so I'm going to take, the ca take it out of the case and I'm just going to show you how tiny it is. Putting it next to a phone is quite a stark contrast because well why wouldn't you use your phone? This key mission has a few advantages over using your phone for standard snaps. One, it comes in this case and the case has a few benefits, but the case can be mounted to things like rucksacks, the case can be mounted to your belt, and when you pull it out of the case, it instantly turns on. And you have very simple and rugged controls to use it. Pressing this button will take an image and start and stop video recording. You can attach a lanyard here and here if you want to, so that you can hang it around your neck. So let's put it back in the case and let's take it out of the case. So it instantly turns on. This control here controls whether it's video or photo. And interestingly, we have a selfie camera here. So we can take selfies and that works for video and for stills. But the rear facing camera is not as high spec as the front facing camera. Front facing camera has vibration reduction control. I think it's electronic rather than um, optical. And we have a light if we want to. Press to take an image. It's touch screen, so we can easily work it. So some of the really good features it has as an action camera is logging. We can pick stills or we can pick movie. We can adjust the time. And what it's going to do it's going to take a picture or a movie every unit of time. So the minimum I've set it to, which is the smallest it can go to, is 30 seconds. And the highest, the highest, I, the highest it can go to is 930. So when you press confirm, it says place the camera in the holder to start shooting. So the idea is it logs as you walk or as you're doing your activity. We have panorama and HDR. And if I put it into film mode, not only do we have full HD at 25 frames per second, and no doubt it will be 30 frames per second if you're in a non-PAL country, we can do our logging, but we can also do a time lapse. So with the time lapse, I can set for 2, 5, 10, 30 seconds, and something called night sky, which I, I'm not sure about. I can have the auto exposure lock on or off. I'm going to go for off. And so every two seconds, it will take an image. I need to press the button to start it. And every two seconds, it's taking an image. And then if I press the button to end it, I can save the time lapse as a movie. So yes, and it will convert it to a movie at 25 frames per second. What I like about this the most is the simplicity of using it the fact that you can take it straight out and it turns on, and the size. I'm not going to be too worried about getting this out and dropping it, whereas I probably would be worried about getting my phone out and dropping it. But that's enough of an overview of the Key Mission 80. Let's see how it performs in real life. So these are my thoughts on using the Key Mission 80. The picture quality outside I'm really pleased with. It's really quite good but it is an automatic photo. So when you go inside and you're in low light, the quality will deteriorate a little bit compared to good light outside. In terms of video, you can see here, I'm walking with the Key Mission 80 outside. I'm holding it in my hand. So you can see quite a bit of bouncing. Now with an action cam, you probably are gonna get some bouncing. So that's sort of understandable. It's not ideal, but it's understandable. I'm quite happy with the video quality of this action cam, all things considered. Here we are inside in fairly good light, and again you can see that bouncing as you walk around, but the video quality I'm quite happy with for an action cam. Now here we've got a really challenging light situation, we've got really bright highlights and we've got really dark shadows, and you can see that the Key Mission 80 is adjusting things accordingly as I move around. It's doing an alright job for an action cam, we're not going to get DSLR 
video quality and low light performance from this action cam. The only thing that I do find troubling is the slight rolling shutter that you can see as I was panning around. So in summary, it's a good action cam, I like it and I will be using it a lot as maybe a BTS camera or maybe trying it for some street photography. Thank you, goodbye.